Welcome into the Cowboys Report with training camp more or less here. It is time for an updated 53-man roster projection. Now, I want to emphasize, it is 53. You might see 55 thrown out there. That might be more of a game day thing. You can promote two practice squad players if you want. But in terms of all practicality, it's really a 53-man roster. Now, one change the NFL, CBA, and the NFL have agreed to. The practice squad, it was 10 last year, was supposed to be 12. Now it's 16. You've got extra spots available for those young players who aren't going to be able to make any real impact here for the NFL and for the Dallas Cowboys. It is not going to be the normal 10-man practice squad. It has been upgraded to a simple 16 practice squad. So let's dive in there position by position. Beginning at quarterback, I've only got two. I got Dak Prescott. I got Andy Dalton. Those are the only guys that I'm going to have on the, on the roster right now. I can already see the meltdown going on. I left off Ben DiNucci. Spoiler alert, I got him on the practice squad. No preseason this year. That hurts rookies. That hurts undrafted free agents. Danucci fell to round seven because the rest of the NFL wasn't convinced on him. Guess what, folks? There's no preseason. He's not going to put any positive game film out there. I think it is very likely you can sneak Danucci down to the 53 or to the practice squad. Now, the argument against it is, well, maybe you want to have an extra quarterback in case one of your guys has to go on the, the, the COVID list. If you think that's the case, maybe you do put him on the roster. So what do you think happens with the Nooch? Will he make the 53-man roster? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Y for yes and for no. Another change here from my most recent one, uh, the fullback spot. Jamizo Lawali opt out. He's not playing, so I'm going to put undrafted rookie Shaywo Alana Lua onto the roster with Zeke and Tony Pollard. And then I'm going to go light. I can get those other backs on, on my practice squad. I can make that work out. Alana Lua can also be an RB3. He was heavily involved in the TC running game because he wasn't a fullback. He was a running back for them. Now, historically, McCarthy loves to have a fullback on the roster. Eh, we'll see what happens. Maybe they could explore a veteran. I'm not going to add extra players. I'm going to go with the guys on the roster. But I am curious to what ends up happening on that front. Now, we might see some surprise roster cuts. That always ends up happening. Who remembers Dan Bailey getting cut by the Dallas Cowboys? Everyone was surprised by that one. So if you want a surprise roster cuts video, what I need you guys to do is share this one. If we get enough, the bosses tell me they are going to allow you to put, or they're going to allow me to do a surprise roster cuts video. So if you haven't already, do it right now. Share this video on Twitter, social media, anywhere. Let's go to receivers now where the top three clearly locked in, right? Cooper, Gallup, Lamb, Doe. We, we don't need to discuss those guys. The problem here is figuring out the rest of the spots. I, I feel good about Cedric Wilson being wide receiver four. Devin Smith brings the speed that only John Vay Johnson has. You'll see him on the practice squad. Remember, he's on the COVID list right now. And then I went with Ventel Bryant for special teams. He was a pretty good special teamer last year. And John Fossil needs more of those guys. So I'm going to go with my sixth receiver, really being a special teams guy. Because you're going to use those top three more than everyone else combined by a significant margin, right? The question, though, is will the Cowboys have three top one or three 1,000 yards rece receivers? That's what Amari Cooper's trying to do. So if you think he's going to, and you think that'll happen, I want you to type three for yes or two for no. I will make this the pinned comment on the video. So if you get the ad break here on YouTube, scroll on down and cast your votes. CD Lamb here. Let's talk about him. Look, these jersey, it's available. The rest of these jerseys, they're not on sale anymore. The jerseys aren't on sale. The, the Zeke, the Dak, the, the Lawrence, not on sale. But the Lamb ones are still under 80 bucks at chatsports.com slash CD jersey. Put that link in the comments and in, in the description. All you got to do is click, shop, order your CD Lamb jersey. It'll be here in plenty of time before week one. And never forget that the NFL actually let the Cowboys take him in round one of this year's NFL draft. All right, tight end. I almost went deeper here. With the mindset of, with some uncertainty at fullback, 
maybe you carry four tight ends and get one of them to help you out at fullback. In the end, though, I chose to go with three, Blake Jarwin, Dalton Schultz, and Blake Bell. The two versus three battle, we'll see. I don't want to use two t more than uh, one tight end at a time anyway, but I think the depth is fine if there are no injuries. All right, offensive line, no change here. I'm going nine deep. No surprise for the most part. Tyron Smith, Connor Williams, Joe Looney, Zach Martin, Lael Collins, Cameron Irving, Connor McGovern, Tyler Biedish, and Brandon Knight. I like that nine. I like going a little bit deeper. You got some flexibility with where some of those guys can play. But the big battle for me is really going to be left guard. I think Looney starts week one with a limited preseason for, for guys like Biedish. But who is the left guard for the Cowboys? Is it Connor McGovern, type CM? Is it Connor Williams, type CW? So many of you are desperate to replace Connor Williams. I don't think that happens in week one. I think it's CW, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, over now to the defensive line depth chart for the Dallas Cowboys here. Demarcus Lawrence, obviously. Gerald McCoy, obviously. Dontari Poe, also duh. Tyrone Crawford, Bradley and I, Neville Gallimore, Antoine Woods, Dorrance Armstrong as well. And oh, by the way, I'll put, include Randy there, who's suspended right now, but for the time being, we'll allow him to count. Alden Smith also in there too. But Tristan Hill is the intriguing one for me. Does he make the roster? Is, is that going to happen? I am not convinced. He is going to fight for a roster spot this year and I'm not sure he ends up making it. I'm really not. He might get cut. Maybe they stash him on the practice squad. But I want to hear from you guys, too. Will Tristan Hill make the Cowboys' 53-man roster this year? Type Y for yes or type N for no. Now, we have Alden Smith on that roster, obviously. Randy Gregory suspended right now technically doesn't count. So I will cheat and still kind of sort of include him. There's no updates, though, right now. Maybe he plays, maybe he doesn't. Regardless, you can't bank on him playing in 2020. I'm not sure he's going to. I want him to. I want him on the team. I want, I want him to help out the, the, the passers, which I'm not sold on. But I don't know if he's going to play. So what do you guys think? Does Gregory get reinstated? Does he play this season? If you think yes, we'll type in your one. If you think no, type in your zeros. I'm not convinced. I'm concerned. We're going to have to wait and see on that front. Over to linebacker now, and I'm going to I'm gonna sneak on an undrafted free agent here in Francis Bernard, a little bit older player, a little bit more special teams value. The big three, of course, obviously Sean Lee and Leighton Van Der Esch and Jalen Smith. I think Joe Thomas is safe. I think Luke Gifford has a good chance. So it came down to Justin March, who you'll see in a second, but also Francis Bernard. He's an older player for a rookie, 25 years old, but I think he's got a bit of a higher floor, will help you on special teams, smart player. All of those things scream he's one of the last guys to make the active roster. I know the Cowboys like him. We'll see, though, if the lack of a training camp in preseason that we're normally accustomed to negatively impacts because enough where they actually don't end up making the team. Over to cornerback now where I went deep. But it makes sense, right, because you're going to have a Wouzier. Trevon Diggs isn't going anywhere. He might start for this team. Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis are going to battle for that nickel corner role. You're not going to cut Reggie Robinson, but he might not be ready in year one. So now you want to include Darrell Woolley. Now you're at six. And then C.J. Goodwin, who much like Ventel Bryant, well, folks, he's a special teamer. The real question at corner to me is, if you're starting a Wouzie, that leaves two jobs open, the CB2 and the nickel corner role. So which guy doesn't start? Is it Jordan Lewis, type JL? Is it Anthony Brown, type AB? Is it Trevon Diggs, type TD? Great initials, by the way. I think in terms of what the Cowboys want to have happen, they want Diggs to be cornerback too. And they paid Anthony Brown. They want him to be, to be the nickel. So as much as I like him as one of the conductors of the free Jordan train, I don't think it bodes very well for him. I'm going to type in my JL. So safety now, again, we'll include the corners. I think it's four, and I don't think there's that much debate here. It's Xavier Woods. It's HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix. It's Darian Thompson. And then it's everyone's favorite pre hype train from last year, 
That is Donovan Wilson. I'm not convinced he gets much playing time this year. He, he hasn't proven yet that he's better than Xavier Woods or that he is, is a better player right now than, than Ha Clinton Dix. So I think, unfortunately for him, he ends up being the backup safety, maybe a special teams guy. There's no preseason either. So for Wilson, he's not going to get a chance to really and truly prove himself. Now, you'll see some Cowboys players wearing hats on the sideline this year, sometimes forwards, sometimes backwards. These are the official summer sideline gear from, from NFL. It's on Fanatics as well. Check it out, chatsports.com slash Dallas hat. And if you're into it, I personally am not, but I know many of you are. We've also got these straw bucket hats as well. Go check those out, chatsports.com slash Dallas hat. Oh, by the way, free shipping for a limited time only if you use code free. On now to special teams. I'll go quickly here. Greg Zerline, well, he clearly started there. They already cut Kai Forbath. The return guys, I think Pard and Lamb. LP's the GOAT. And then the punter, Chris Jones. And guys, I was so tempted to put like a silhouette and, and a question mark of, of at punter. Because I want to cut Chris Jones. Why are you paying money for the NFL's worst punter? Been a bottom 10 guy the past three years. I say cut Chris Jones. I will continue to do that. Because it's a punter. Don't pay your punter. You don't want to pay the guy who, in theory, when things go well, literally never sees the field. So type your votes in here. A for yes, B for no. I don't want the Cowboys to keep Chris Jones. I want him to, to, to get cut. A for yes or B for no. One note here, you're a little thin in terms of you know going light at receiver and, and, and at the uh, in, in, in the backfield. I'll put Tony Pollard as my kick returner. I'll put CeeDee Lamb as my punt returner. That is completely subject to change, though. So practice squad then. All right. Ben DiNucci. Oh, look, he made it down. Darius Anderson. Rico Dowdle. I'll go two backs to help make up for going so light on the active roster. I'll go heavy at receiver because I like him. John Vay Johnson. I got Kendrick Rogers, too. I put him over Aaron Parker. And I actually felt bad about leaving Parker off, but I can't go four deep at receiver. I'm also going to roster Noah Brown. I'll take two tight ends, Sean McEwen, or in terms of the practice squad, my bad, practice squad, guys. Sean McEwen, and then Charlie T, or Charlie uh, Tulapea, a bit more of an H-back type. I got a good blocker. Maybe they can develop. I'll add two more offensive linemen, Mitch Hyatt, Adam Redman, one outside, one inside. My apologies to uh, Terrence Steele, felt bad about cutting him. Then I'll go heavy on the defensive line. I'll go Joe Jackson, Jalen Jelks, and Rondell Carter. The NFL practice squad rules have changed. Veterans who you normally wouldn't be able to get on there, you can now. That's where I'm putting Justin March. Everyone's favorite hyped cornerback who's long and, and fast, Chris Westry. I'll take the only other safety on the roster, too, Luther Kirk. And I know I said 16 practice squad players. Not for the Cowboys. They actually get 17 if they want to carry Isaac Alacron as an extra, almost basically free practice squad player to develop him. So that's why it's 17 and not 16 for the Dallas Cowboys. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.